In programming, when you tell a computer to do something, it initially has no idea what you're talking about. This makes understanding the concept of data types extremely important. Here's a great example. And the answer that we see here is 100% correct. If I change the values to 4 plus 2, the answer becomes 42. This is also correct. This is correct because the data type is interpreted as a word, not a number. Programmer geeks call this type of data a string. This means that I could even put letters into the equation and they'll still be added together, quite literally. If I sever these connections and replace these two strings with two integers, we're given the kind of answers we were expecting in the first place. The look and color of each node gives you hints on what kinds of data it will accept. In NEOS, green means it's treated as an integer or a whole number and red means that it's treated as actual text. Do understand, however, that some nodes will automatically change their data type depending on what you plug into it. For example, the plus sign operator will have a default color, but it will change or convert this node, if at all possible, to match the data type that is being used. It's also worth noting that typically there are ways to convert one type of data into another, such as text into an integer, but we'll cover that in a different video. I want to take some time to outline the data types that you'll likely be using most often. All of these can be found in the input category. So we know what integers are, but most data in NEOS comes in the form of floating point numbers. This is just a fancy way of saying that the numbers can be fractional or contain decimals. There is also what is called float 3. When you move or scale things in NEOS, that position or scale is calculated using three numbers. One for the x value, one for the y value, and one for the z value. All of these are required to determine where something is or how it is scaled which is why these numbers are always bundled together. The last data type that I want to point out here are Booleans. Booleans can only ever be true or false. This is most often used to control checkboxes and other toggle type controls. There are more advanced topics on the subject, but I feel that what we know now is enough to move us forward. The next segment covers how to control objects with logics.